three years, the stage hit his delighted millions. On Broadway, in Chicago, from Boston to San Francisco, in Vienna, Buenos Aires, Tokyo, and Copenhagen. And now, with the same engaging characters, the same hilarious situations, the same provocative lines, the moon is blue has at last hit the screen. Before I go in, would you mind telling me what this picture's about? Oh, yes, of course. It's the story of... <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't hear. Well, it's the story of a boy and girl who meet on top of the Empire State. <laughs> uh, well, just tell me one thing. Is it amusing? <laughs> Does that answer your question? One low, please. Thank you. And sometimes a dream like you comes to now and then when the moon is blue. Ooh, so tell me that you can see it too. A month of Sundays coming up in June because the moon is You must be out of your mind. You can't bring a bear to see a movie. Why not? He loved the play. <laughs> the picture stars William Holden, that's me, as Donald Gresham, young architect who made plans for after dinner. You know, I think I'll buy some ham and eggs, too. David Niven, as David Slater, to whom every girl looks bewitching through his cocktail glasses. Suspicions, my child, suspicions, the lurking doubt. Is she or isn't she? Does she or doesn't she? Will she or won't she? Suspicion. The most powerful aphrodisiac in the world. And a bright new star, Maggie McNamara, as Patty O'Neill, the girl who wants to know. But don't you think it's better for a girl to be preoccupied with sex than occupied? Who are you? Hey, wait, don't come in. Would you try to seduce me? <laughs>